Hey everyone, so there is an issue with the Spider-Man uh, PC modding community right now. A lot of people aren't able to start up their games because of the new update that came out for Spider-Man Remastered. This new version of the game won't allow people to install their mods and it's giving them issues such as a black screen or it's crashing. Um, I've had this problem and I've just learned how to fix it. It's a it's a simple, easy um, obstacle to get over. So that's what we're gonna be going over today. And yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, so the first thing you obviously wanna do is make sure to have, so the first thing you obviously want to make sure that you have is the Spider-Man PC modding tool. This is the tool that you will need for your mods. Um, so the issue with the with the new update is that people are having this new launcher. When you start up the game, which I will pull up right here, you hit play. This is the normal launcher setup. Uh, this is the way it's supposed to look like. It's just a it's just supposed to say play settings playstation pc and quit but with the new problem people are having is that it's saying launcher play launcher options with underscores that is not the correct launcher setup that's not what it's supposed to be if you have that the game is going to just give you a blank screen it's not gonna start up it's not going to do anything so what you need to do is quit out um, I, I know it doesn't show, I know I don't have that, that setup, but I, I had it and this is only because I fixed it. So what you need to do is, or actually go, let's go back. Um, you go to your game on Steam um, or Epic Games, I don't know how it is for Epic Games, but for Steam, you right click, go to manage, browse local files, and you need to go to your asset archive. Once you're in there, you're going to find this file called talkbuck or talk bake or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's this file right here. So what you need to do is you need to delete this file and it's only this one. Just delete that file. Once you've deleted that, click out of that and then you need to open up your PC Spiderman modding tool. Run this as administrator. Okay. Click yes. And you will have all your assets. Um, if you don't have your assets uh, right here, you just need to go to file, and then it's gonna. Uh, there's gonna be an option for select asset folder, and to find that asset folder is you just have to go to. Uh, let's see. You have to go to your Marvel Spider-Man uh, folder. So you need to find where you have that. So I should have it right here in my Steam folder, Spider-Man Remastered. And it's going to be right there, Asset Archive. Um, so you open that, and then you just hit Save um, once you've found that folder. So um, yeah, so let's go up, open up that that Spider-Man PC modding tool again. Run right as administrator, and then once you have your mod that you want to install, um, you just hit Add, and then you look for that. You just look for the for that file, and I'm sure everyone knows how. I'm sure everyone knows how to install the mods because you know they they they've been doing this. But this is like the problem that's preventing them from from the mods actually working. So that's basically how you do it. So once you've deleted that talk file, um, go to your mod manager menu, install the mods, and then open up the game. And once you open up the game, it should it should um, give you this, it should give you this setup, the, the regular setup, the, the play settings and not, not the underscores or the launcher bull crap. Um, but if it's still not working, uninstall the game and then delete that file because that'll just be a full restart, a full refresh of how to um, basically make this thing working again. So that's what you need to do. 
So if you guys have any questions or any concerns or any problems, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help because I've been working at this for like three days. I've been trying to figure out what the heck happened because I tried installing this backpack mod for this game and then that's when I ran into the problem. But I didn't notice that it was when I had installed this mod, this new mod that I wanted, the new update for this game had came out. So that's the reason why it stopped working. So all you got to do is just go into your assets folder, look for that talk file, delete that, and then install your mods again, and then you should be good to go. So yeah, that's one of the things that I've been seeing a lot recently with people trying to install their mods. It's not working for them, so I just wanted to be a voice out there and show you guys how to overcome this problem. Um, so I, I also did hear that you're going to have to delete this file every time there's a new update that's going to come out in order for the mods to work. Um, and if this doesn't work, there's an other alternative. I will show you guys real quick. Um, you can just play the old version of the game. So what you need to do is you right click on the game, hit manage, and then I think, oh no, it's properties, my bad. Properties, and then you go to, I believe, uh, betas. No, not betas. Yeah, betas. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, betas. And then you just hit previous version, roll back, roll back to previous version. And this is going to play back the old version of the game before it was updated. And then your mods should work because it's 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 in the um, previous version where the mods of where the mods were installed in the first place. So they should work there. Uh, I haven't tried this version yet, but I wanted to figure out how to figure out like I wanted to figure out the new version because I don't want to play in the old the old updates so that's another alternative for you guys uh, but yeah that's pretty much the the new way to overcome this obstacle so I hope this video helps you guys and yeah let me know if you guys have any questions peace